A wet affair is great, but it takes quite a while to prepare. So uh, on this, I've tried to reduce the um, reduce the time of this video as much as possible by speeding things up. So the first thing we're going to do, because it's conveniently here, is we're going to use this crane to get the first safe out. Um, to do that, we need to go through that wall. So rocket bomb doesn't really make any difference. Try not to leave your crane arm straight away on this bit by clipping the roof and just drive the crane up. Ideally you want to try and be under this walkway as much as possible so I'm a little bit left here but you'll see in a minute it doesn't make too much difference. Just stuck a bomb there just to blow that up um, while, while we wait so to speak while we got to the third floor. Now this safe is too heavy for us to carry meaningfully so you can essentially blow your way all the way through down to the bottom floor and bomb placement on this side will send it the opposite way towards the outside wall and on the other side will send it closer so it doesn't really matter where it ends up to be honest as long as it's pretty much straight down and obviously clean, clean some of the debris out of the way but this is a crane so we'll probably pull it straight through no problem and try not to get the crane arm stuck on either the crane itself like I've managed here or on the debris because you're, you're just wasting time really but we want to get that on the safe and we're going to just drag this through and you want to accelerate backwards and keep going don't do it in baby steps because when you hit the rain the timer will start going for the alarm to go off so as long as you go quickly you can go straight through the rain and we're just going to leave it here for now underneath this cover okay it's a good time to quick save there um, or actually this one's quite easy so there's nothing to fail on this so you can always wait till the end to quick save it's up to you uh, you can go through the wall <laughs> you can go around we need to get this safe that's there now and we're going to start using the truck for some of them there are quite a few ways you can do this mission um, I'm going for the easiest least mess upable versions here and not necessarily for time um, but I mean this one feasibly could get you done in pretty much the quickest time possible really but um, we're going to use the truck for this and we're going to put three total safes in this you could try and load all of them into it but it starts to become annoying because the truck just breaks like really easily and all we have to do with these ones is literally pick them up and carry them if you look up and stay still for a second the safe will slowly creep up to where your hand is which helps you getting them into the back I don't think at this point I'd fully appreciated that um, but that works with most heavy objects and when you move it lowers them down a little bit careful with eating the uh, safe around because it can actually go through the side but we're going to use planks and you can kind of over overdo it you probably need like maybe three four five just to hold it in place I actually go back and put five in there because it comes straight through the side when I drive off now we could drive around this garage and reverse back up I don't like reversing trucks I think the people that drive trucks for a living are just some kind of superhuman geniuses because I cannot reverse a trailer um, so I'm just gonna go straight through because we don't need to worry about saving explosives we do need to worry about setting the whole thing on fire so we'll put that fire out and we're going to take the truck through because I've finished annihilating the entire garage I mean I might as well have just kept going here hadn't I so carefully taking the truck through this truck has got to survive three or four reasonably pre precise pieces of driving so try not to you know, wreck it which is easy for me to say here because I'd say that's a pretty wrecked truck uh, it does need a bit of debris clearing up um, but I'll do that afterwards so we grab the safe and again just gonna stick it in the back basically so we can speed this process up and we're just gonna glue it in with some wood which makes literally no sense and as I say I've um, that's what's happened with the planks there that's why I've got more planks than you saw before because I did go back and add some more in so we plank it up, I did not need to do that, that was a literal waste of planks and I get rid of the debris, can't be bothered to show you that though because you fall asleep so I was going to go right here and use this other um, and get this other safe but actually I had a better idea so we're going to get this one here in the big Ferris Bueller garage and that will be the last one that we put into this truck so <laughs> pretty much we kind of do an awful job of reversing the truck um, obviously need to make a bit of a hole here and we're going to stick this through. This one does get triggered a little bit by the rain actually going out but it's I managed to get away with it. As long as you're quick you're okay, you have about 3-4 seconds. 
and again plank it up it's got to survive otherwise um, you're kind of doing it all again you can see now as well that some stuff's gone down at the front of the truck I think it's me reversing the truck into itself um, I spent ages here destroying the trees I wouldn't bother um, because it's just a hassle this corner here be really careful if you go around you can go around the long way if you're not up for it but um, the trees will put these little holes into your truck if you don't break them down but man it was taking ages to get rid of them quick save it before you do it and if it does come up with rain detected and actually causes you problems then you can deal with them afterwards on this section here um, I'll show you what I do because I am having a moderate shocker with that I plank it up which is a bit of a waste of planks but um, it's enough now we're going to do some professional driving skills over to the um, to the trailer it was totally intentional backflip there before that I had to edit out and carefully park that and then we're going to drive this truck over to the other side which is just you know another little villa that they've got at this villa and you want to lower the uh, what's it called the bed uh, which I didn't realize you could do until about this point in the game and stick the whole truck underneath so first of all I'm going to do this just to line it up and that's good um, I was going to make some holes just to check where the truck is so I'll, I'll just quickly show you what what the purpose of this kind of driving it under is only to take it out it's to make sure it knows exactly where it is I drive it away and then I bomb the whole thing and then put it back because otherwise we blow it up and there is some evidence of my bombing and um, the whole building nearly burnt down I think and look at that cheeky so we're going to grab the safe and stick it on the back of the flatbed and this one we're just going to plank it up so I kind of demonstrate this for a little bit and then we'll speed it up so you can just drape the planks over it and then cover some on the side you can actually just cover a whole safe separately and walk it over if you wanted to but um, obviously you want to secure it to the ground and you want to make sure that it's completely covered from the rain it doesn't need to be like watertight or airtight so to speak it just needs to meet a certain requirement that I don't know what it is but this is good enough so do that and then we're going to drive it across the racetrack and up the ramp and we're going to take it over to the first thing that we did that I almost feels like about six hours ago when I was actually doing this that I did it that's the reason why some of this looks a little bit scrappy uh, this is a long mission um, even when you know what you're doing it takes quite a while because it's a little bit of finesse to it so um, get it done and I'll show you at the end why my time is good but not amazing so stick your safe onto the back if it's on it's good don't forget to release the hook and then you can physically drag and move this slightly um, into place so if it's you know it falls down or if it's stood up you can you can still manipulate it uh, okay um, I went for dinner at that point because I've been on this for a while so we're back to it and just drag it into place this is actually quite a nice placement this and then we plank it just like we have before so once we get it nicely into the right spot and again just plank it and be aware of how many planks you've got definitely um, about midway through the game just start making sure you have the full amount of planks because you will need all of them um, if you're trying to do things for one shot anyway okay so um, I pretty much make this like vacuum sealed Right then, basically good to go. So, take the low loader out. And we probably don't want to do it the way around that I did it, because it just means now I'm going to have to do an additional turn to go back. And we're going to reverse it into the next little building that's straight down this road. And we're going to go straight to the garage door um, using this. And we're going to blow it up, and then we're going to grab the last safe and put it onto the low loader. And we're all good then. 
probably want to move this pink car actually if you're not being lazy because it does get pretty irritating. Don't forget to quick save this um, as you can just because this is a long mission and it saves you a lot of hassle. Okay, so last safe. Bang on the back. And I just put the bed up on this one because we got all three on it now, we're good to go. And use the, the back planks just to, to make sure that I could kind of tie it off well. Okay, so the next bits that come up while I while the video is just showing you the my amazing planking skills is you can position this truck right next to this building ready to roll it backwards into the water and that would be a considerably faster way of doing it than what I do end up showing you. Um, the reason that I dumped mine so far away from the water is I was done with wet work for the day uh, or whatever this one's called now. I've completely forgotten this video has gone on for so long. So I was um, I was done with this so I could just reverse it off there and then you could turn the truck around and you could get that closer as it stands I just wanted these in the water and I wanted to be done with it at this point point. Um, and you'll see that actually it's a reasonably quick time considering what you what you have to actually do of course you want to make sure that you get a nice run up so they go straight in and don't forget to quick save the game because the last thing you want to do is have to redo everything Here's where I contemplated actually turning the vehicles round and just decided, nah, I'm good. I'm good with whatever time I get. And that's all of them loaded up in the trucks. So the mission is to drop them into the water. It will give it a little quick save. It's pretty much unfailable at this point in time. And here you can see, we take the truck straight off. We reverse this one straight down and gravity will take care. And had I have done this closer, we would have been able to get in quicker. Just bear in mind if you do go too close to this building on the right, there is a lower level that it can fall on and it might not get in straight away. But if you're really going for a quick time, you can move those further down. I was going for a let's finish this mission um, because I've, uh, yeah, I've spent enough time on it.